Neymar does a Cantona. Lionel Messi makes it 10. Van Dijk scoops the top award as the Premier League takes a back seat. We've got a roundup of all the day's transfer rumours. And of course, we look back on your Friday feels. There are more coming up in the next few minutes as I'm your host, Matt Froelich. You are the one footballers and this is the Daily News. But before we get into today's Daily News, of course, a quick reminder about the amazing release on the new OneFootball app. Together with 11 sports, users in the UK and in Ireland can now watch selected league matches on their phone from just £2.99 or €3.50. All you have to do is go to the relevant match page, click buy now, and you'll be charged through your iTunes or Play Store account. However, with that being said and done, and with the fact that you're able to now watch football on your phone, let's get straight back in to the daily news. First off, and to Neymar, who had a pretty poor weekend by anyone's standards. Now, first off, and he was actually told that he'd be banned for three Champions League games after insulting the officials on Instagram. That was after they lost to Manchester United in the round of 16. But after this, they played the French Cup final. And you would have thought with all the PSG's recent success and the fact that they've won this cup for the last two years, well, they'd be adding another one to their trophy cabinet against Stade René. Things started pretty well with Dani Alves banging an unbelievable volley. And then Neymar, on his return to the side, making his first start in four months after injury, Lobbed the keeper perfectly to make it 2-0. However, it wasn't to be as Stad Rene came back to make it 2-all and then went on to win 6-5 on penalties. But the controversy does not stop there. As Neymar was walking up through the middle of the crowd to collect his loser's medal, he was abused by one of the fans and he then turned around and sucker punched him. Bam! Right to the jaw. Now, there's two sides to this story. First off, what is the fan doing? I know you pay your money, or probably in those kind of seats, you don't pay your money and you get invited, and you're entitled to your opinion. But just randomly abusing a footballer who's walking up to collect a loser's medal, he's had a pretty bad day, he's just lost the cup final, he's just not on. What kind of person do you have to be to go, you know what, it doesn't even really matter, but I'm just going to go and abuse a player randomly. Now, those of you out there are going to say, yeah, of course, he's got to be able to take it, take the flag. Yeah, duh. But when you're just randomly calling out insults like that, it's pretty stupid. However, from the opposite side, Neymar, Neymar, Neymar. Do not lose your cool. He's an experienced head, he's a professional footballer, and he should know better than going around punching fans. I can see him being banned for a fair few months after this. Remember when Cantona Kung Fu kicked that fan against Crystal Palace? Well, he was out for months, almost a year, so maybe, just maybe, the same thing will happen to Neymar. But elsewhere over the weekend, and Barcelona finally wrapped up the La Liga title after beating Levante 1-0. And can you guess who scored? Of course, it was Lionel Messi. He's now come off the bench to score 26 goals, more than any other player this century. As for the man himself, well, it became his 10th La Liga title, which is now a record in this current Barcelona squad after Andres Iniesta left last season. But alongside this, it was another fantastic day for Arturo Vidal. Now, he's not necessarily the most important player in the Barcelona squad, but what he did do was win his eighth straight title in a row. He won four with Juventus, then three with Bayern Munich, and now picking up this one with Barcelona literally puts him as one of the greatest European players ever because of the amount of trophies that he's won. Normally, when you talk about Arturo Vidal, you wouldn't put him in that elite crew, but because of what he's won, maybe he deserves to be up there. Alongside this, another record over the weekend, because as is with the internet these days, you can't talk about Messi without mentioning Ronaldo as well, otherwise all the fanboys will get upset. Anyway, a quick shout out for Cristiano, who scored the equaliser against Inter Milan, which was his 600th club goal. No one currently playing in Europe has scored more club goals than him. Next up though, and to some English action where the Premier League actually took a back seat and you'll see why in just a minute. First off though, we will be talking about Virgil van Dijk who picked up the PFA Player of the Year award as we suggested last week. With 19 clean sheets in 36 games this season, it's no wonder why he's won the award, to be honest. He's been absolutely fantastic for Liverpool and becomes the first defender to win it since 2005 when John Terry scooped the award in a title-winning Chelsea side. However, let's forget about the Premier League. Let's forget about the fact that Liverpool and Manchester City both won at the weekend, because of course they did. Let's forget about the fact that all of the rest of the four of the top six dropped points because no one wants a Champions League spot. Let's talk about the Championship because Leeds versus Aston Villa threw up one of the most ridiculous scenes we've seen in a football match. Of course it did. Marcelo Bielsa is in charge of Leeds. Controversy is never far off with that man in charge. What happened at Ella Road bordered on the ridiculous. So let's just set the scene. 
Aston Villa forward Jonathan Khadija was fouled. He was then injured. Instead of putting the ball out of play, Leeds played on and scored a goal. This, of course, caused a massive brawl, during which Patrick Bamford got one of the Aston Villa players and while El Ghazi sent off, even though he didn't even hit him. That was some shithousery from Bamford and he should be banned retrospectively for that. Anyway, El Ghazi gets sent off and then, just as Aston Villa are kicking off again, Bielsa is screaming at his own team to give a goal to Aston Villa. This actually was the goal that ended their hopes of automatic promotion and gave automatic promotion to Sheffield United. Anyway, as Aston Villa are running through, Albert Adoma is running through, Janssen, the Leeds defender, didn't actually want to give away a goal and tried to swipe a kick out at him. He missed, Adoma scored, another little scuffle between the Leeds players came off and at the end of the day, the game finished one all. If that all sounds far too complicated, just go ahead and watch the highlights. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now, next up, we come to our roundup of the day's transfer rumours, and it's got a lot to do with some expiring contracts. First off, Nicolas Otamendi is set to leave Manchester City in the summer, with West Ham and Watford both interested in his services. Manchester United have joined the race for Lille star Nicolas Pepe. Ivan Rakitic has said he wants to stay at Barcelona until the end of his current contract, which runs out in 2021. And Maurizio Sarri has said that he hopes Gonzalo Higuain and misfiring Gonzalo Higuain will stay at the club next season. And lastly but not least, we come to a roundup of your Friday feels. This is where you guys let me know all your footballing predictions for the weekend in Friday's Daily News. And now we're going to read a few of them out. I will say as a little quick disclaimer, because I always get a few of you mentioning in the comments, if your comment isn't read out, I'm so sorry, but congratulations for getting it right. We can't read every single one out, otherwise it'd be a really long Daily News. So with that said and done, and with the fact that if yours isn't there, remember, you still got it right. It's just we couldn't read them all. First off is Drashtan Varna, who said that Barcelona would win 1 0 against Levante and take home the Liga title, which they did. Next up is Jacqueline Cairns, who said that Alisson would get a clean sheet against Huddersfield and Mane would find himself scoring. That also happened as well. And lastly but not least, Sneezy, great account name, said that there would be a red card between Leeds and Aston Villa. And as we just mentioned, there was for El Ghazi. So there you have it. There's all of today's daily news. But you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you make of all the scenes going on over the weekend? Now that all the titles are pretty much wrapped up apart from the Premier League, is football getting a little bit boring? Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button while you're down there and click here or here to check out all of the other videos that we've got going on on OneFootball. But until next time, I will see you guys later.